hey guys welcome back to my channel this is Sharani today I'm going to show you how to make the most flavorful and juiciest chicken breast so what you're going to need is a boneless skinless chicken breast and as you can see some parts of the chicken breast is thicker than some so I'm going to put it in a bag to pound it out to make it thinner If you don't have a bag like this, you can use two pieces of plastic wrap and put the chicken in between and then pound it out. But I really like using the bag, I feel like it works a lot better. I'm using my meat mallet to do this, but if you don't have a meat mallet, you can use a rolling pin. So what you'll want to do is look for the flattest piece of the chicken and then pound out the rest to be that size. And when you're doing that, you just want to press down and out. If you just pound the meat down, it could tear the chicken. The reason you want to pound out the chicken breast is that so it can cook more evenly. The thinner you can get it, the better it is. You can always turn it over and check it to make sure everything looks good and then keep pounding it until everything is around the same thickness. If you haven't been following me on Instagram yet, you can do so at Cooking with Sharani. I'm always sharing stuff over there, so come follow me. Now I'm just going to take it out of the bag and season it. I'm keeping it really simple with the seasoning and I'm just seasoning it to taste. So I'm just putting some pink Himalayan salt in it but you can put whatever salt you use in your kitchen. I'm putting on some black pepper. onion powder and some garlic powder flip it over and season the next side there's no right or wrong way to season this you can put whatever you want if you just want plain salt and black pepper then do that but I'm just doing it this way just to give you an idea of what you can put on there but you can season it however you like okay so to cook this I have my nonstick pan set over medium heat and I'm just adding about a tablespoon of olive oil to that and then I'm just going to let that heat up and add the chicken to it you want to get a nice crust on your chicken, so just leave it alone, don't touch it, <laughs> just let it cook. So I'm going to cook this for 4 minutes on each side. From my experience when cooking chicken breast, sometimes when you put a lot of seasoning on the chicken, the seasoning tends to burn. So if you don't want your chicken so brown, the simplest thing is to just season it with salt and black pepper and then it won't look so brown. Now I'm just going to flip it over and let it cook on the next side. And look how beautiful this is. Oh my goodness. I love the color. If you've been following me for a while now, then you'll know that I like my meat brown. 
the browner it is, the more flavor it has, and it's just nicer. I felt like it still wasn't brown enough for me, so I flipped it over and let it cook another 30 seconds. Now that it's done, I'm going to set it on my cutting board and let it rest for 5 minutes. And it's important to let the meat rest for 5 minutes. That will help keep it nice and moist and juicy. You can eat this however you want. You can put this in your salad, you can put this on the side, you can make a sandwich with it. I mean, it's your breast. You can do whatever you want with it. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help out my channel. It helps to get my videos out there. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please don't forget to do that. And I'll talk to you in my next one. Take care. Bye. Thank you.